Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Patience by Guns N' Roses. So this video is going to cover all the chords, chord progressions, and uh, that intro solo that I just played. Uh, in the next video we're going to take a look at uh, Slash's main guitar solo. Alright, so you need to get your guitar tuned down a half step. So all together we're tuned to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Alright, so let's get to work. Now this, this first intro riff is also the same chords as for the verse. So it's going to start with a C major chord. But in the very beginning of the song here, they add the third fret on the low E string to it. So you're going to have to move your third finger over to there and then the note you just left, hold that down now with your little finger. So this gives it a little bit fuller sound to start the song with. Now we have a little melody over that. So all these chords have a melody that works within them. So, so as you're strumming the C, you're going to pull off now 3 to 1 on the B, open B string, and hammer back onto that 1. Then you're going to go to a G major chord. And then over that, we're going to have... So what's going on there? We're going to have... I'm kind of gliding across the strings, and when I get to the B string, I'm going to grab the first fret and pull off to, to zero, but I'm going to kind of accent that note when I get to that B string, so you can really hear it come out over the rest of the chord. And then come over and grab with your second finger there, the second fret on the G string, and then the melody note goes to the open G, so we have this. So he's still kind of strumming the chord around those notes. All right, now the next chord is an A major chord. And with that, the melody note is going to be... It's going to be a slide. You're going to move your little finger up to the third fret there on the B string. Slide down to the second fret, then have the open B, and then put your little finger back down on the second fret. So all together so far. Now go to the D major, and then the melody over that is just going to be pulling off 3 to 2 on the high E string, open E, and back to the second fret. So just kind of go through those chords. So over that, we have that intro solo that comes in. Now the first phrase of that solo is going to be, by the way, he uses just his index finger to pick these notes for both solos. So it kind of gives the notes a snappy quality. So just, you know, I like to put my pick between my, held by my middle finger between the two middle joints there. So we're going to have third, seventh fret on the G the eighth fret on the B. Then we have this. So that's eighth fret again, slide 10 to 12, over to 10 on the high E string, slide back down, 12 back to 10, then 8, 10, 8, so we have this. All right, then we have So that's a bend of the 10th fret there on the uh, B string. And then just go up chromatically 7, 8, 9, 10 on the high E string. And then that bend again at the 10th fret on the B, followed by the 8. So we have this. Next phrase. So that's just 10 on the B. 9 on the G, back to that 10, and then 
this is probably the reason really he's, he's doing the finger picking is so he can play these two strings together one with his thumb and the other one with his his index finger seventh fret on the G seventh fret on the high E string you pick it slide up one fret then slide up all the way to nine all right the ending lick So more of those kinds of intervals here. We have 11 on the G string to 10 on the high E string. And kill those, and the same thing two frets down. And then the two sevens again. Then pick them again and slide down to the fifth fret on both strings. So here it is. All right, from there we have the chorus chords. That sounds like this. So we're going to start with that C major again, full strum to a G. Now they mix it up in the chorus, sometimes they'll play this G as just with the open B string, or sometimes they'll play it with the third fret on the B. So whatever sounds best to you, there's three guitarists playing at the same time, so we're actually doing kind of a condensed version of all those parts, um, trying to get them into one guitar part that sounds pretty good, but you're not going to be completely be able to recreate it. It's just too much stuff going on. So we have uh, C to G, C to E minor, but they have a little bass line that gets down to the E minor, at least the first time. So it's three, two on the low E string, and that takes you to the E minor. Back to C, G, and then we get to the D chord that ends it. And there's that little melody on the high E string, which is just two, two, zero, two, three, two, zero, two. So it's just three notes. You just gotta get the sound of the melody in your head. and. Starts over. Now, when he starts doing the vocals, the, the verse comes in, it's the same chords that we did for the intro, but they're played a lot more subdued, and there's a lot more arpeggiated picking going on. Kind of sounds like this. So it has that, obviously, that little lick that ends it. Um, so just play the exact same chords, but just kind of randomly pick through arpeggio picking. It's probably the best way to do it, because they never do it the same way twice. So it's just... But then after you pick through it, like halfway through the measure, strum it and start the exact same melodies that you did in the intro. Just kind of arpeggio picking, then, then when that melody comes, I, I strum through it. All right, so that's a good way, kind of, of just playing that verse and just trying to make it your own thing every time, and it'll sound fine. Now, uh, there's just a that little that ends it. That's fifth fret on the A string, slide into the ninth fret on the A, then seven nine seven nine seven on the D. Then 9 on the A, then the open A. And as you hit that open A, it gives you time to shift back and start over with the C. So it is. All 
that, and then once again, that takes you back to the chorus. Now there's a quick little lick at the end of the chorus that takes you back to the verse. It sounds like this. So that's at the end of the first chorus. Now that's sliding into the 11th fret on the G to the 10th fret on the high E. Then sliding 12 to 14 on the G. And then... Alright, so you got that. Just 14 on both strings. All right, so now we have the outro of the song, which sounds like this. So it's just going to do those uh, chords just for a few minutes, and there's a different little ending we'll take a look at. Uh, so it's a D major chord. You're going to have the open A string in there, though. And then you're going to add the F sharp on the low E string with your thumb. So it's the second fret on the low E string. Then we're back to a full G chord. And just repeat those three chords again and again. At the very end of the song, um, after it does this, keeps doing those chords, it does this. All right, so that's an F major bar chord that they. It's like when he's doing that I need you vocal. Goes to F major, full bar chord, then the G, and resolve it on a D major. The band kind of pauses, and then the chord goes back to the G. And then Slash does his little guitar lick that ends the song. So that's pulling off three to two. So I got a little buzzing. My guitar does not like this tuning at all. So we have pulling three to two on the high E string, and then three on the B, two on the G. Open G, then hammer on the fourth fret on the D string. Then the open D, and just strum a D that ends it. Now there's a big layer chord. There's another guy playing. All that last D there too, so you know it's three guitar players, so they can really kind of sp spread the voicings around the neck. I'll show you real quick too, right going into that last part. What do we have? That's the most imperative before the vocals come in. It's just a short little solo, and it, then it just kind of wanders on. So I'm not going to really do all of it, but we're going to have the same two chords that we ended the chorus with, and then the 14th, and then he starts playing it in rhythm. Hit those, hit it twice, and then slide it down two frets, and then that same chord, the 10 and the 11th, do the same thing there. Then at the sevens again slide that down two frets and then we're at three and four here so it's just a little thing and then the vocals coming back in and there's kind of scant soloing here and there but we're going to take a look at slash's main guitar solo next so stay tuned for that 